Lift your posture and strengthen your core in this quick and simple at-home version of the traditional Pilates foot corrector. I'm Hannah Wright from Clarity Pilates. We're going to start holding on to something for balance and placing your foot on a little ball. I love the textured ball from the Franklin Method, but you could use a tennis ball or even a small cushion here. Lifting the posture, you're going to press down through the foot and get taller while you pull in your core. So we're using the foot to connect to the earth and then rebounding from that strength to lift our posture tall. We don't wanna lean our body weight in to put weight on the ball here. You're gonna maintain your posture and just press down to go up. So it's quite a subtle motion. As you press down into the ball, really pay attention to your alignment you want the knee to track right over the second and third toe, not dip in or flop out as you press. Everything about this exercise is simple, but not easy. So be patient with yourself and go as slow as you need to, to do it with proper form. Rolling the ball now to the arch of the foot, you may wanna widen your stance slightly. Same exact thing here, pushing down, lifting the posture tall, and then bending the knee. You might find that your knee can straighten a little bit here as you press, but it's not important that it straightens all the way. If you're finding this fairly easy, go ahead and challenge yourself by moving your hands back a little bit so you're only lightly touching your balance point. This will also help keep you honest about not leaning forward too much to smush the ball. Wrap up one more press and then roll the ball to your heel. Foot will be strongly flexed we're gonna press the heel into the ball. You guessed it, posture stays lifted. We just smush straight down and then lift back up. You'll feel that as you move through these different points in the feet, not only are you getting that pressure point massage through the whole foot, but it also activates your muscles differently all the way up your body. Excellent work. Let's give your foot a little massage. So you're just gonna widen your stance a bit. You can even lean on your chair and you're just gonna massage your foot back and forth, rolling the ball. This is gonna open up all the fascia of the feet, help those muscles release, work out any knots or tension that you might be holding. If you want to continue to challenge yourself, lift the posture back up and see if you can maintain that good posture while you roll out the foot. But if you wanna take a little break and lean on the chair, that's totally fine too. Stepping that foot off the ball, just stand on your two feet and feel the difference, not only between the two feet contacting the floor, but all the way up your body in your hips, your abs, and even your shoulders. And then we'll try all of that on the other side. So starting with the toes, heel nice and high, you press through to get tall in your posture and then slowly ease off the ball. See if you can tune in to that connection between your hips and glutes and the pressure into the foot. And then always checking in with yourself to make sure you're able to maintain that tall posture here. It's so easy to wanna to use your body weight to smush the ball rather than your muscles. We'll try the same thing now, rolling to the arch. Let the toes drape over and the heel fall back. Maybe widen your stance and press through and then lift. Remembering to check in with that knee alignment and then lifting the posture back tall to move on to our heels. You'll roll the ball, place the heel, just press through and then ease off. Posture tall the whole time, knees aligned, both legs nice and strong. Feel that as you press into the ball, it can press back into your foot to massage and open up the fascia. And finally, lean forward, time for our massage. You'll just roll the ball slowly forward and back, letting it get into all the nooks and crannies of the feet. Take nice deep breaths, and if you want that posture challenge, you can start to lift yourself back up, find that nice strong spine, and keep rolling the ball back and forth. Ease off the ball, stand on two strong legs, feel your feet, and you are all done. 
thank you so much for doing this uplifting mini workout with me. If you'd like to do a full length workout, I would love to see you in one of my online mat classes. I've linked those up in the description down below, as well as my Facebook group. It would be beautiful to see you there. And of course, if you want to support more free videos on this channel, like, subscribe, and comment to let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on the mat.